Hi, I'm Chris Pedersen with the Merriman Financial Education Foundation, and today I'm going to show you how to easily use the pre-made M1 finance pies that we've created to invest in Paul's recommended portfolios. Uh, this is pretty simple. Hopefully it won't take very long. So we're going to start by going to Paul's website. So to get to Paul's website, type in www.paulmerriman.com. And what you'll see on his website is a set of options across the top that are pull down menus. If we go across to recommendations, come down to M1 finance and click on that. That will bring up the page describing how to invest at M1 Finance using Paul's recommended portfolios. And if you scroll down, there's some, there's a podcast, there's some text and articles and some how-to information. But if you go to the very bottom, you will see a range of different kinds of portfolios. There's the ultimate buy and hold worldwide tax deferred portfolios ranging from 50% to 100% equity. Uh, there's taxable portfolios, there's all value, all small cap value, and even some target date portfolios. These are based on the uh, Merriman aggressive target date glide path that we created. We're going to simply pick the ultimate buy and hold worldwide 90% equity for taxable, but you should pick whichever one you're interested in. So once we click on that link, it takes us to M1 Finance and it gives us a picture of the pie over on the left. You can scroll over it to see the holdings. You can look on the right to see historically how it's performed and you can scroll down to also look at the holdings in a kind of table form. Now we haven't invested in this pie yet. Uh, we're not even in our account yet. So to do that, we would click invest in the pie, invest in this pie and type in our credentials. Once we type in our credentials, it's going to bring up this page saying continue to the app. Uh, this is a little misleading. You're actually going to a web page, but we'll click on that, continue to the app. And now we are in our account at M1 Finance. If you didn't already have an account, please sign up using the affiliate link below to create one. We still haven't invested in the portfolio at this point, but we are in our account. And to add the portfolio to our pie, we click this box down here on the bottom left, add to portfolio. And this is gonna bring up an option for us to mix it with the portfolio that we're currently invested in or to replace it. So uh, most of us are gonna be interested in just switching or using it 100%. So I'm going to say, I'm gonna type in here 100% for the new portfolio and I'm gonna click on the old portfolio, the old pie, and up here where it says remove, I'm gonna click remove. Now what that's gonna do, uh, then I have to hit save up here in the top right, save and confirm. It's going to set up a trade to happen the following day. So you can look once it comes up with that, you can look over here on the left, scroll down, and it will show you that you, you have a certain number of purchases that are gonna take place, sells that are gonna take place. And it's good for you to think this out now and consider, you know, am I creating a tax problem for myself? If it's a tax deferred account, you probably don't need to worry about it. But if it's a taxable account, you might wanna see, you know, am I creating a lot of capital gains in this sale? Or am I, you know, at now, let's say at that point you decide, oh, wait a minute, I don't want to do this. I want to undo it. Well, that's pretty easy to do. You come up to research, actually, just, just to finalize this, um, this is all going to take place tomorrow at 6.30 a.m., um, which is, is fine. It gives us a lot of time to undo it if we want to undo it. And in fact, it's really easy to undo. We would come up here to where it says research. You go to my pies, and uh, you would come to the one that you were previously invested in, uh, which is down here. I was in the ultimate buy and hold worldwide, 100% equity for taxable. I would add that to the portfolio again. And now I just change it back to 100%. That was the one I was in before. And I select the one that I wanna get rid of and I remove it and I click save confirm. 
And now it's going to come back and it's going to tell me that uh, there are no upcoming trades. So I'm back to where I started. So that's it. It's pretty easy. Uh, if you want to support Paul and me, uh, please do use that affiliate link below if you haven't already signed up for M1 Finance. Uh, click like, uh, subscribe to Paul's channel, sign up for Paul's newsletter. Um, hopefully we're helping you out and we appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. Bye.